this is Dampy, and welcome to a, another live stream. Once again, going to be... One second, let me pop up the chat. Yeah, once again, going to be carrying on playing some Minecraft. Uh, welcome back to everyone who watched the uh, the last streams I did in kind of this series. Uh, for those that weren't here, let me just kind of bring you up to, to speed. So, uh, basically, I am trying to... Well, as the title says, I'm trying to relearn how to play Minecraft. Because I haven't played Minecraft very much over the last couple years. Uh, they've added a bunch of new things. Uh, I'm also now playing on Bedrock, where I used to play on the console edition. So there's a lot of things that are new, a lot of things that are different, a lot of things that scare me and make me cry. <laughs> I'm trying to, to overcome it uh, and learn about all of these new things with, hopefully, uh, your help uh, a little bit uh, here to today. I only just started the stream on time. This was so... I think I was a minute late, uh, but I was over... Uh, it's Father's Day, Day in England? I don't know whether that's, like, international. I know that, like, Mother's Day is a different day in England compared to America and some other places. I don't know whether Father's Day is the same, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I was over uh, with my dad. We had a, a picnic where we all brought our own food in their garden. Uh, and then we, I realised the time and we had to, like, leg it back. Basically just drag Alex down the road so she's, like, knackered now. <laughs> from us basically, like, running back just so I could, uh... Uh, I could arrive uh, on time. I know it is Father's Day uh, in, uh, in America. Yeah, so it's just Mother's Day is different for some reason uh, in America and England. Uh, but yeah, uh, happy Father's Day to all of the, the fathers out there that may be watching. And if you have a father, uh, wish them a happy Father's Day. Uh, but yeah, that's what I spent my day doing. Uh, how's everyone else doing? Why is... There's almost 10,000 people here. What? I have never had this many people on a stream. Certainly not recently. I don't think I've ever gone over 10,000. For me, it says 9,990. Am I going to capture the moment if it hits 10,000? There we go. We hit it. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't. The thing is, it's so normally with streams, I prefer the quieter ones. Just because it's like, I can read the chat more. I had to put the slow mode up to 90. Uh, and then also, uh, I, I feel like, I don't know, there's more. I get used to it. But at first, when I see there's a lot of people watching, I get, like, pressure. I'm like, 10,000 people watching, like, do something entertaining. Like, quick, like, start juggling or something, you know? Like, crack a joke! <laughs> and then I need to just relax and calm down and uh, and just play Minecraft, uh, I guess. Uh, hello to everyone in the, the chat. Hello to Gavin, who just says 10k. Hello to, uh, to Fizzy. Oh, no, sorry, Frizzy, who says uh, hello. Uh, hello as well to, uh, to Luca. Uh, hello to Alex Bibby, who says hello. Hello to, to Golden Action. Hello to Peter something. Hello to Nor Bunik, I think that was. Uh, hello to... Okay, it's going too fast. I'm sorry, it's going too fast. Hello to everyone. Hello to everyone who's uh, who's here in the, the stream. Uh, yeah, we'll be jumping into the, uh, the gameplay in just one second. Sorry for the... Um, <laughs> for the dog <laughs> in the background going a bit loopy. I promise you she'll be asleep in the background within half an hour. Oh, is she going on the beanbag? Oh, I think someone's at the, the door. So you may notice that we are we are down one giant giraffe. We actually uh gave away the giant giraffe. Alex! Yeah, so I think there's someone at the, the door now. We're selling like a bunch of stuff at the moment. Uh, because we're, we're moving house. So the uh, the giant Minecraft giraffe has gone. Alex, come here. Will you be quiet? Hey, where's your toy? Alex, where's your toy? She's here. Her ears are like radar, listening out like, who's here? Who's at the door? Alex, will you be quiet? Where's your toy? What's this? Let go. What is this? Wow, this toy's had some... Some some serious use over the years. Wow, this is an oldie. But it somehow managed to survive. Oh, look. I give myself a doggy face. All right. Will this distract you nicely so you won't bark? There's a, a couple things that we're selling at the moment, so the door might go a few times. So apologies if you hear barking or squeaking in the background. I promise you, doggy will settle down and sleep in a moment because she is, uh, is very sleepy. Uh, yeah, but yeah, before I go into the, the gameplay, uh, let me say thank you. I saw a few uh, donations come through. I saw like a few came through before I was even online, which was a uh, weird to see. Like I wasn't even in the house <laughs> and they were they were coming through. But yeah, we'll get to the gameplay shortly. Look, here I am just hanging out in my new little house in the, the background down there. Uh, thank you uh, to uh, to Matt as well as uh, W Heart Heart T for becoming members. Uh, thank you as well to, uh, to Woody J 
uh, and uh, and Jason Black for uh, two donations and becoming a, a member. Thanks so much. Uh, thank you as well to uh, to Seymour as well. I don't know if that was setting up. Like, who knows the famous uh, Simpsons joke with Seymour? I won't go into it. Uh, thank you uh, as well to uh, to Luke, who says uh, world's best YouTuber. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you as well to uh, to Adam and El Robo, uh, Duncan uh, Abyssal. Don't mind me, who says uh, thank you for being there while I was bored. I <laughs> uh, think as well to uh, to Andy, who says uh, hey Stumpy, I just wanted to pop in and say that I'm glad you're back. Uh, I've been here since Nino Cooney when I was 11. I am now 18 and about to go to college. Wow, good luck uh, going to, to college and thanks for yeah for staying with the the channel for so long. I uh, think as well to uh, Alexis for becoming a member, as well as the Wells Boy and uh, as well as Ruby, who says uh, I was the favorite YouTuber from their childhood. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Aaron from school, who says, uh, watched you uh, since 2012. By the way, never update on Tuesday. Is it coming up that soon? That's perfect timing because I can go, hopefully, even though I made this world before the update, hopefully I'll still get all of the uh, the fancy pants never stuff uh, when I, I end up going to, to, to do it. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go check that out. Uh, thank you to, uh, to A2 Snipes. Who just says, imagine raising a whole generation. I've seen that quote go around a few times. Uh, as well as Second France Empire Ball for a huge $100 donation. Thank you so much. Who says, oh, hi, you're my childhood. Also, my dad is Bill Gates. That's Does Bill Gates have children? Maybe he does. I don't know whether to believe you or not. I probably shouldn't believe you because that sounds like the sort of thing someone would try and prank me with. Uh, yeah, thank you for the other uh, donation, though. Thank you also to, uh, to Carly the Koala, as well as Eurovision USA who uh, asked, am I a fan of Eurovision? Uh, I am, but I, I don't know. Is there like a USA Eurovision? Because it's kind of in the name, like Eurovision. It's a Europe thing. But uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I haven't watched it in the last couple of years, but we used to watch it uh, growing up. It was always quite fun. I uh, think it's well to, uh, to, uh, to Bandicoot for becoming a member, uh, as well as, uh, as Ju uh, Julian, who says the Minecraft king has returned, as well as uh, Ango and Friends, and uh, Lee Rice, uh, Bella Sophia, and uh, Daphne uh, as well. Uh, thank you all uh, so much for, for donating. Uh, I'll get through to uh, some more donations a little bit later on. But now, I want to play some Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, the plan... Right, this is the plan for today. Is my, is my sound on? It is on. But I'm going to turn it up. Oh, hello. <gasps> no way. Trish is gone. No way. Oh, have you already your, you sold your, your guitar? Yeah, one of my first, my first electric guitar has just been sold. I just said we've had to, to say goodbye to the uh, the giraffe as well. This chocolate milk is in honour of the giraffe and also in honour of my first electric. They can't even see me, they see my legs. Anyway, shit, shit. To Wait, the, to the, the guitar's still on the landing, the, the guitar, the, the giraffe's still on the landing. Do you want to go back? I don't know, should we, should we, can we do a farewell toast to the giant Minecraft giraffe that would, uh... <laughs> It was behind me in all my previous streams. He doesn't fit. <laughs> he doesn't, oh gosh, oh, he hit his head. I, I feel like people don't appreciate how big the giraffe is. I think when it's so in the, the background, they don't <laughs> really... <laughs> I'm not even like... <laughs> it's enormous. It's the most ridiculous thing. And it's it's fed me well for a very long time. But we're moving house. We and got him from the We Are The Rangers um, people, the charity that looked after pangolins. Pangolins? And we, we were like, when we're moving, we're either gonna to have to leave the dog here Cheers. or the giraffe. And I said we should leave the dog, but in the end, we decided to take the dog and get rid of the giraffe. Cheers. Right, cheers to the big giraffe. I'm not gonna drink it because I just brushed my teeth. So I just, in solidarity. Mm. Do you want me to put it back in the fridge? A solidarity slurp. No, I'll have it in a little bit. Goodbye, friend. No, I don't like it <laughs> No, you have to go. You don't fit in the house. No, please. <laughs> Please. Not back in the basement! Please. Not back in the basement! I don't know where I'm going! Who am I going to? I don't know who they are. They're not, just strangers. Not from the cardboard cutout hyenas! They no. don't put you in the car, you're gonna go to a special home. <laughs> no, please! No, please, I can't! <laughs> it's okay, it's gonna be fine. Stumpy, give me a kiss. Mm. Actually, you can't because it's going to someone and coronavirus, so. <sighs> say bye, everyone! Right, so everyone say bye to the giraffe. Or are you calling me a giraffe? <laughs> bye to the giraffe. Say bye to the giraffe. <laughs> Both the giraffes. I can't even... You leave puppy in here and then just hopefully she'll calm down. If you shut the door, she'll settle down to sleep soon. So yeah, uh, the plan is is I want to do one of the uh, like the raids, um, you know, like the the illages or whatever they're they're called. Uh, and I was going to do it in the last episode, but I couldn't find the tower. 
I tracked down the, the tower, so I now know... Alex, drop it. So I now know where the tower is, but everyone was kind of telling me that I am uh, woefully unprepared for it. So uh, I want to go mining. I want to go and do a good old fashioned, dig a big hole, go do some mining. And I want to try and... Uh, I'm going for diamonds, basically. I've already got the diamond sword, which is a good start. Uh, but I want some diamond armor. I also want arrows. Everyone was saying for me to uh, to get some arrows. So that's going to be the, the plan uh, as well. Because I've got, like, I've got one. I need, I need to add to my collection of arrows. I could literally find one more arrow and double <laughs> the amount of arrows uh, that I have. I, I thought I marked, like, there was a good cave around here somewhere. And I remember I, like, I dug up out of the ground around here. And then, like, I marked it with, like, a block. Oh, here it is. Here, this is what I was looking for. So there's, like, a big underground ravine area down here. So I think rather than just, like... Uh, digging up uh, under the ground anywhere. Uh, I would go and, uh, and start here. Uh, hello to everyone who's just uh, joining in. Uh, the series is basically what it sounds like. Uh, it's me just kind of getting back into the swing of things with Minecraft, just to get myself a little bit better at controlling it and learning about the, the new things for my return to lovely world. Uh, speaking of uh, that, by the way, spoiler alert, I have been recording... Ah! So it's a little bit scary when there's like gravel falling. Uh, I have been recording Lovely World. So um, I've recorded a few. Uh, because I am moving house, my plan is, is because while I'm moving house, obviously I'm going to be busy carrying boxes and stuff. And we also won't have a uh, internet for a, a few days. Um, uh, I've decided that that's going to be a good time to start uploading Lovely World because I won't be able to, to stream or anything. Um, I, I, I think if I'm uploading them, People aren't going to be moaning about me not streaming because they'll have Lovely World to watch instead. And because everyone just wants me to do Lovely World instead of streaming anyway. So, <laughs> so that, that is the current plan. Uh, we don't have a, a date yet for when we'll be moving, but it should be uh, within, I don't know, within the, the next few weeks. So um, that, is the, uh, that is the plan. So if everyone asking where's Lovely World, is it coming back, blah, 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 blah. Yes, it's coming back. Videos have been recorded. Mini games have been built and played. <laughs> uh, so uh, just to, to temper people's expectations, though, I'm starting kind of slowly with it. So I'm not going straight in with a big old hit the target special. Uh, they will be coming. There will be special episodes and big events and all of the uh, the stuff that I used to, to try and do semi... This is getting a bit dangerous here. Uh, Semi-regularly. All of that stuff will be returning. But... Uh, I just kind of wanted to to get into some of the uh, the basics with some of the standard episodes, and then gradually we're going to be building up to to do uh, some of the uh, the more uh, special and kind of exciting and adventurous episodes. Especially now, uh, now I'm going to be on Bedrock. I'm going to have a lot more options. There's going to be a lot new, uh, a lot more new mechanics and stuff that I can play around with and stuff. So uh, there should be some fun stories will uh, will happen uh, back in the the future. Uh, it's returning sooner than uh, we anticipated, says I Like Potato. Uh, oh, good. Good. I, I, I never knew, because I always said it would be coming back kind of soon, but I never, like, I just never wanted to set a date, just in case I ended up changing my mind, and then, like, people end up more disappointed than if I never mentioned anything. So I always kind of... Yeah, I, I don't want to kind of get people's hopes up too much, uh, in case it ends up uh, being a little bit later. Uh, right then, for now, though, that's coming in the future... But now I'm in this world, so I want to, I want to like, play with the new mechanics and stuff. Uh, whereas I didn't bring up the, the wiki, I could maybe bring that up uh, in a little bit. So I'm going in a little bit blind here. Uh, but yeah, I'm basically looking for diamonds, so I can make uh, a bunch of diamond armor. I also want to get some arrows if I can, if I run into some skeletons. Uh, and then that way I will have a, a better chance going up against the uh, the illagers in the, the raid. Because I went to do it in the last stream and everyone was like, Ah, oh, this is tricky. Not sure if you should be doing this, Dumpy. Don't know if this is a good idea. And everyone kind of like scared me off <laughs> from doing it. And then I couldn't find the, the tower anyway, which might have been a good idea. But uh, as you can see by the, uh, the thumbnail, you saw a diamond? Are you lying? You guys are lying, right? You gotta be lying. Surely. Surely you're lying. Oh, pillagers. I keep saying illagers, but it's pillagers. I'm sorry. I apologize. I got it incorrect. 
Right, it looks like we kind of got to the end of this ravine here. We might have to just like, we might just have to dig down. To be fair, I don't even know whether I'm like deep enough to find diamonds on this layer. So let's, uh, let's go down deeper. And oh! Okay. Okay. It's okay. We got this. Just gonna place this along here. And uh, we carry on going this way. Ooh! Okay. It's okay, we just fill this in. Oh, we passed the lava. Right, I just I just need to make sure like I look look before I step. It's just what I need to be uh be careful for. I can't like dig down and then go straight forward. I need to be like super careful. Oh, this is bedrock layer. Right, well we're we're definitely in a in diamond territory then. Oh, and lava territory. Okay. So let's let's go up a little bit higher then. Just a, a few blocks. And then maybe try and just like dig to the just dig to the side here. I'm also going to probably have to make a new, uh, new pickaxe quite soon. Uh, go up by 12 blocks. Oh, am, am I too low? Oh, is there like a, a higher chance to, to get it if you're a little bit higher up? These are the kind of tips that I need. It would probably be easier just to find another cave, but... I just want to find the, uh, the diamonds as quick as I can. Uh, level 12 is there. Alright, let's turn, let's turn on coordinates then. I'm gonna have a big, like, brown chocolate milk moustache. <laughs> oh, was I on level 12? Oh, no, I'm on level 12 anyway. My instincts kicked in to know that I was on the, the right... Oh, yeah. Oh, people are saying, like, level 11 and 12 is the best. I guess, like, if I'm two blocks wide, I guess it's kind of the, the same. That is something that I did not know. Right, I'm going to have to... Uh, let, let, let's go and make a quick furnace. Because I'm going to have to start smelting some of the iron I've already got. I didn't bring a, uh, a spare pickaxe down. So we'll have this as our little home away from home down here. And we'll throw in some of the iron that we've already gathered. Some of this coal. Make a few more torches. So yeah, this is kind of the stuff I'm trying to still get a little bit, a little bit faster at crafting. Because, as you can see at the moment, I'm way slower than I used to be on the console edition. Like, I didn't even used to, like, think about it. Like, back in the day, back in the day, back in the olden days, when I was in my prime, my peak Minecraft performance, I used to be very speedy with all of that stuff. And now I'm like, now I'm like, you know, when, like, you're playing, and then you hand your controller to, like, your parents, and they're like, uh, which buttons are two? You know, I'm like that now. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Stampy is like, like, my whole uh, time on YouTube, like, I've had people calling me noobs, just because it's like, people like it as an insult. And now they're all right. <laughs> it's always really funny when you go back to like, so like, like my first ever Minecraft videos. Because my first episode, like, I don't know if people, how many of you know this, but my first episode of Lovely World was my first time ever playing Minecraft. Like, literally, like, the only ever time I'd played Minecraft, like, when I started, was, um... Episode number one of Lovely World. So I didn't know anything. I didn't know the controls. I didn't even fully know what the game was about. I didn't know, like, I was a complete noob. Like, literally, com Got my diamonds! Yeah, I was literally, like, an ultimate, like, never played this game ever before noob. Not even like, oh, I'm new to the game and I don't know everything yet. Like, I knew nothing. And then you'd go and look through the comments. And everyone would be like, oh my god, you're such a noob, how did you not know this? It's like, it's literally my first time playing. Like, no one's born knowing how to play Minecraft. Like, everyone's got to learn at some point. This was my, my first time learning. How many did we get? 
<laughs> I can see all the chat catching up and everyone's just spamming diamonds! Diamonds! <laughs> it's so nice doing it live because everyone's like sharing all of a uh, all of my excitement. Well looks like we've got a few. Fair few. I've got a bit of iron down here as well. Nice. Right, how many uh what can we what can we make out of this then? I guess I'll keep my stampy style boots. Oh, it's actually I can't actually make that much. Can I just make it? Oh, I can't even make like a chest plate or leggings. I mean, it's good. Like, don't don't make like. I don't need to think I'm like ungrateful, but like, I mean, it's, it's basically just one diamond helmet. Not a uh, not what I was hoping for. So well, let's dig because I've been digging in that way in a long way. Let's start digging this way. Uh, Tell. Let's just grab this uh, this crafting table and the furnace. Maybe I'll just make a. Uh, another pickaxe here and then grab this because then we can kind of like loop back to to where we are i think maybe one more um one more batch of diamonds which should be enough to make like a chest plate or something hopefully uh and then i think we're going to be good to go so the reason we're after diamonds is one just because they're shiny uh, also because we're about to do a raid and uh everyone said i was a uh, absolutely unprepared for it and they were probably correct and they were definitely correct so i'm trying to, to get a, a bit more uh a bit more uh, prepared for it uh, i wonder if i could read some donations as, uh, as we go here seeing as i'm strip mining uh the trailers of the movie says where will lovely world be filmed uh, i'm actually filming it on um on bedrock on pc which turned out to be uh really the only good version like that would work so Bedrock on Xbox is just so laggy. Like, but well, isn't it just my lucky day? Isn't that so weird? Look, because look, I was digging down to here. I found diamonds here, and I was like, I'm gonna dig to the left now. I turn and start digging to the left, and go straight down to more diamonds. That is unbelievable. Oh, and it's a bu it's a bunch of them as well. Look how many there are. It's like a, a house of diamonds. Oh no, it wasn't. There's only four. Okay, it wasn't loads of diamonds, but that is still kind of crazy. That is crazy. Uh, right, well, let's dig this way a bit, and then we'll go left, and we'll carry on going back the, the way we went. Uh, but yeah, so, um, yeah, like, Bedrock on Xbox. Like, even the Xbox One X, which is, like, meant to be the super-duper powerful one. Uh, world's most powerful console, guys. Uh, and but even on that, it, um... Uh, it would just lag, like the Love Garden, it just couldn't handle it. Like, it would lag more than the Xbox 360 version of the console edition. So the only way I could get it running is by doing it with my, uh, on my PC, and then just doing it on Realms, because otherwise it would lag for other people in the game when they joined, uh, my helpers. So that's the, the plan for now, but there is a new Xbox coming out uh, at some point soon. The Xbox Series X. And because it'll be on Bedrock, I'll be able to move my world back across. So I might end up, like, long-term having my, uh, my, uh, my lovely world on there. So that might be the, uh, the plan. Uh, Diamond Armour is stepping down as the best armour, says Joseph. Yeah, there's some, like, something in the Never, isn't it? That, uh, you can make stronger armour out of now. Uh, Stumpy, will you, uh, are you still in love with your Minecraft cakes? I am, but in, but, oh, can I swim up here? You've got to be careful now, because you can't make little breathing holes. Ah, oh, hello. Hello, little cave. Hello, little cave. Uh, yeah, in, in Bedrock, when you eat a cake, it's weird, like, it kind of, like, seals in on itself. So you eat some slices, and normally when the cake's half eaten, you could see the inside of the cake. But now it just does the same texture. So it looks like as you eat, you're like replacing icing on one side of it or something. It's really weird the way it works. So cakes are a bit different in Bedrock. And then you burp. Every slice you eat of cake, you burp. Which is also <laughs> something that I had to uh, to adjust to. Because I don't know about you, but I don't burp quite that much when I, uh, <laughs> when I eat cake. So um, that was uh, something that I had to, to get used to. To be fair, we're actually on um We are on diamond level where we are now. So now we have a, a bit of a cave here. Before we uh we head back to the surface, which I will be doing shortly. So I always have a little bit of a of a look around here. There's quite a lot of like open areas, so if there are diamonds around here, we've got a pretty good 
a pretty good chance of spotting them. And apparently, according to the chat, we're on prime diamond finding level right here. So we should have a pretty okay chance to get one. I gotta be careful here as well though, because there's a bunch of obsidian, which means that there's there's a lot of lava around here as well. Any diamonds around the corner? The classic lapis trick where lapis looks a bit like diamonds in it. Tricks your expected brain into finding what you want rather than what's there. So is that like where I came from? Uh, let's kind of check it down this way for a bit. Yeah, and then we we can probably use this cave to, to get uh, ourselves back out of here. Let's get rid of this water if we can. Oh, is this like more water here? Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Okay, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk going around there. All this water and lava. I just want to have a, a little look around it. Right, I'll have one little last check down this way and then we get back to the surface. But yeah, and then we try the raid. So I actually, I kind of started a raid in a, so there's a Minecraft stream I did ages ago called <laughs> a fox called Bob, where I had to find a fox and name the fox Bob. Mm, why not? Something to do, isn't it? <laughs> Something to pass the time. Uh, so yeah, and in that, I kind of half started a raid, but then I never really finished it. And I didn't know what the outcome was and that, and I kind of just ended up running away and quitting it. So I have done that, but I've never seen like a, uh, a raid through to its conclusion. So this is going to be my, my first time doing that. I'm just such an obsessive builder, like not builder, sorry, miner. I'm just so bad, I'm bad, so bad at leaving caves. Because I'm always like, I could just gather just one more bit of iron. Or one more bit of coal, you know, I'm just so bad at going like, no, don't need it, let's just go. <laughs> I think I might have to make uh, diamond boots, which is fine, but just means no, no stampy style boots. And we could maybe, uh, we can come back down and find more diamonds at uh, another time. I just want to spend the whole time in the in a cave. I know this is Minecraft, and that's kind of like <laughs> the kind of kind of this game's thing, but I'm sure you're enthusiastic for a, a change of scenery as well as I am. Uh, what version am I playing on? Uh, we're playing on the. Uh, uh, on Bedrock, on Xbox. Uh, use a shield to protect you? Yeah, good idea. I don't think I... Do I have a shield? No. Right, remind me to uh, to craft a shield when we get home. Uh, Pixel says, uh, would I ever do Minecraft with, uh, with Dan TDM? Um, I have done it in the past, but... Um, He's kind of doing his own thing right now, so. Uh, and, I, and I don't know, I just don't really collaborate with many people. I kind of prefer just to, like, kind of keep myself to myself. I think Dan is, uh, in many ways, kind of the same, so. Unlikely, I'm afraid. Does he even, does he, like, still do Minecraft? I don't know. Kind of lost track. Uh, I do have a shield. Oh, is, is it here? Or, or maybe, oh, here it is, here it is. I guess I should, uh, I'm going to equip it now, because otherwise, like, in the raid, I'm going to forget to wear it. So I'm going to, oh, I can see everyone in the chat now telling me that I have a shield. <laughs> I did not, uh, I did not notice. Right, I should actually, uh, listen out for water or lava, because water's now way more dangerous than it used to be. Because it used to be that if you have a torch, and if you, like, dig up under an ocean, you can always just place down the torch to breathe underwater. Uh, now you can't do that. So now digging up underwater can be like just as dangerous as digging up under lava. Maybe not quite as dangerous as lava, but almost as dangerous as that. So I've got to be careful because there's a lot of water around the area that I was in. Uh, judging by the coordinates though, I don't think I'm too far away from home. Uh, you could put a door down now. Th that doesn't work. I tried that in the uh, in the last stream when I was trying to get under. I tried putting down a door and... Uh, it didn't work. It didn't. It didn't block the the water. Oh look at that! 
All of that time down here. Here's my house. Barely even went anywhere. Same as if you place ladders and stuff uh, as well. On, uh, on bedrock now. It doesn't work, I promise you. Right, let's put the uh, the helmet on. And then I think the only thing I could make then is boots. Diamond boots. Or another helmet, I guess. So that was pretty successful. That was like a pretty... Like, well, I've, I've only been doing the whole stream for half an hour. So that was a pretty, uh, a pretty good haul for, for how short I was down there. To be fair. Alright, let's go and start this stuff smelting. Uh, I'm just going to, like, dump a bunch of this stuff in here. I was trying to keep my chest all nice and organized and stuff, but that's really, really hasn't lasted very long. It never does. I always start off trying to keep things all nice and organized and stuff, but it, it never lasts for very long. <laughs> let's just throw a bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> Uh, got the redstone there, my old boots. Uh, right, I, I take the bow and arrow, but as I said, I just really need to get uh, get more arrows. And then I got the the shield. I got one golden apple. I can go under and grab that uh, as well. And then I got plenty of food. So I'm I'm, fe I'm feeling much much better equipped. Uh, than I was before. So what time of the, the day is it? Okay, it's kind of like midday. I kind of want to sleep uh, and then uh, start it in the, the morning. So I don't want to be doing it at night time. So I don't want the uh, the added compilation of a uh, complication of doing it at, at night. Are people telling me to grab the uh, to grab the trident? Uh, the trident? Okay, I'll grab the So should should I use the trident over the uh the diamond sword then? Because it does say eight damage rather than seven. Like, should I just always use the, the trident, even if I'm just like meleeing with it? Or is it only do that damage when I when I throw it? What's the uh what's the verdict on uh on tridents? Oh I told you Alex would fall asleep. She is uh she has fallen uh, asleep. Uh use the sword. Yes, no, no, yes, yes, no. Use both. Use both. Use the trident. Uh, use it underwater. The trident is better. Use both. He does eight every time. Okay. It seems like everyone's not in agreement. So, <laughs> I'll have the trident at hand, but maybe I'll probably use the, the sword more, I guess, is kind of the verdict I uh, I got from uh, from that. So I guess that would be what the, the plan is. All right then, I'm going to wait for it to, to become night. Uh, oh, sorry, puppy. Oh, you're so sleepy. You're so sleepy, aren't you, puppy? She's had a, a fun and exciting day around my parents, so she's going to be super sleepy. Oh, look at that. She's normally just so... Oh, she just flops straight back down again. All right then, yeah, so before uh, before we go to it, let me go read through some, uh, some donations just while I'm waiting for it to become uh, night time. Uh, in the in the game. Uh, oh hi Rocky. Rocky says use trident after enchantment. Yeah, because there's the enchantment that pulls it back, but I don't have any enchantments yet. So maybe I'll I'll keep it with me in case there's someone very weak I need to finish off at range or something. Uh, but other than that, I'll kind of stick with the the swords. Uh, thank you to uh, to TK Dono. He says thanks for making my uh, childhood that much more amazing. Uh, NP White says are you going to record Sampy's uh, lovely world again? Uh, I certainly will. Uh, thank you, Genius, for, for becoming a member. Oh, hello, Michael. Uh, Michael Maddox here, who says, No, I am late. You're not very late. We've only been going for about half an hour, so you are not very late. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Matt Plays, who uh, has become a member. Hope you enjoy being an egg. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Agent, uh, as well as Sandy Davis, who says, uh, Alexa, remind me to tell Stampy to make a shield. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That's going to set off everyone's Alexas at home. Uh, thank you to uh, the Ken Gamer. He says, uh, Stumpy, I love watching your videos. Uh, you make me laugh so much. I've been here since 2014. I uh, think as well to, uh, to Hamish McKenzie. He says, uh, Stumpy, uh, take a look at the back of Squashy's head in Minecraft. Trust me, once you see it, you can never unsee it. Oh, I'm curious. <laughs> I kind of need, to, I kinda need to, to see what it is. Uh, thank you as well to uh, Know You See for the, uh, the donation. And, uh, oh, 
Oh, she's sending out all the feedback. I love it when she's like, oh, curls up in the feedback. So cute. I think it's one to to Idris, uh, as well as uh, as Chloe. He says, I love you and Squishy so much. I think it's one to uh, to Pug Plays and uh, Pickle Chin. He says, uh, there's this one time I tried making Minecraft cake because you ate a lot of cakes. So I tried making one myself. Uh, long story, I almost burned down my house. No one got injured. Wow. Be very careful when, uh, when making cakes. Oh, is the giraffe gone? Really nice man cooking, though. Cooking for his son. He's really excited. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the home he's gone to. Guys, it's gone to a good home, okay? The Minecraft giraffe. Well, they know. Oh, no, they might they not have been know. here earlier. Well, if you weren't here earlier, then what are you doing here now? <laughs> wow. I don't know. <laughs> Harsh. I don't, Harsh know, I don't know how live streams work. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, he's gone. All right, bye, giraffe. Oh, bye, Squishy. <laughs> That's my little pet name for you. I just call you Drop. Oh, no, I knew it. I, she just settled down on it. <laughs> Thank you as well to, uh, to Movie God for the donation, as well as uh, Mad Boss. Uh, he says, Oh, sing happy birthday to Master Mario. Happy birthday, Master Mario. I'm not going to sing because I'm, uh, I'm an awful singer, but uh, happy birthday. I'm assuming it is your, your birthday. Uh, Thank you as well to, uh, to Grab17. Uh, as well as TJ, uh, as well as uh, Hype Knight as well, who says, uh, do I still have Xbox 360? I do have it, but I don't have it hooked up anymore. I don't have it plugged in. In fact, like everything's in boxes. So I have an Xbox 360. It will be in one of this, this, these uh, giant pie, <laughs> this very reckless and dangerous looking giant pile of boxes behind us. It will be uh, inside one of them somewhere. Uh, will you make videos on the PS5 since the trailers on movies? Uh, maybe. Like, it would depend what games are, are out on it. Um, so, like, I'll probably get one. So, uh, if there's a game that I want to make videos on, on PS5, I certainly will. Um, Kiss Happy uh, Sixth Birthday to Ben. He's watching. And he's got the Stampy Book as one of his uh, his presents. Oh, happy birthday, Ben. I hope you're having a, a good uh, day on your on your birthday. And I hope you uh, enjoy the, the rest of the, the stream. Uh, thank you also to, uh, to Joseph. Uh, as well as a uh, C Hex Twitch, who says uh, my first video was Wiggly Worm. That was actually the first video where Squashy joined me as a helper. So that's always like one of a uh, one of Squashy's favorite games because that was like the first time she joined uh, my world. Uh, oh, Select says I suggest you get a bow for a raid. So I got a I got a bow. <laughs> I just need arrows. Is the the problem? Maybe like when it becomes nighttime, I could go and hunt down a few um. A few skeletons to make some arrows. I might actually be able to craft a few uh, a few arrows as well. Might be a good idea. Uh, thank you to uh, to, to Dwight uh, as well, who's uh, who's glad lovely world is uh, is coming back. Uh, as well as uh, as Bella, who says I'm a stampy style boomer, not a real boomer. <laughs> and uh, thank you as well to uh, to Samurai. He says thanks for raising an entire generation. Uh, as well as YouTube Harry uh, and Gabriel Walker. Uh, and uh, Kraken Ghost uh, as well, who uh, had to go, uh, but just wanted to say uh, to say thank you. Oh uh, yeah, thank you all so much for the other uh, donations. It's uh, just about to become nighttime in the the game. So well, let's let's see if I can. Um... Oh, where is the sun? Oh, is this? Wait a minute. I think daylight cycles off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think daylight cycles off. All of this time I was waiting. So the reason daylight cycles off is because I um. Uh, I had to get the... It was becoming night while I was um, uh, making... Getting the thumbnail. So I turned daylight cycle off so it would be sunny for the thumbnail. Uh, and I didn't realise that the, uh, the time wasn't even travelling. But that's okay because we can see if we can make some arrows. So it, isn't it like... Is it like feathers, sticks and flint? Is that right? Does that sound about right to make some arrows? Like I never normally craft arrows. Because you never normally need to, right? Like, how often do you ever need to, like, actually craft arrows? Like, normally, like, once you've spent any, uh, any... <laughs> Everyone's just saying F's in the, in the chat. Like, normally any time you've played in a world for a while, you just have, like, endless arrows anyway. Oh, I can't see them. Uh, I think, yeah, that is what I need. Well, maybe, oh, I, I, I didn't make sticks, though. That's the problem. Oh, I just made, like, 60 sticks. That was more than I needed. Uh, actually, that was a decent amount. Actually, that was twenty-five arrows. I forgot that, like, with each of the uh, the crafting recipe, you end up like actually making like a, a whole bunch of them. 
Right, so what I think I'll do, rather than waiting ages for it to, uh, to become night again, I'll, um, I'll go to the village, which is on the way to where we're going anyway, and then maybe I'll just steal one of their beds, and then I'll try and sleep right before we start the, the raid, and then we'll be able to, to do it, uh, like, right at the beginning of the, the day. Just so we're not uh, dealing with um, with goofies at the, the same time. Right, this is the village I was talking about. You see these little columns? They're my uh, they're my markers for um, for leading to the what's it called? Like the the pillager tower or whatever it's called. Oh, we got melons. Didn't know we had. I might grab a. I don't know why I'm using a shovel. I might go grab 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 some melons. Can I grab melons? Yeah, let's go there. If if I get at least one melon seed, then that'd be okay. And oh, there's the drowned other. Oh my god, I hate the drowned. I hate the drown so much. So I've got so many mini games in my fun land, which have loads of water. Oh, outpost, pillager outpost. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, I have so many uh, like giant water-based games. Like Stampy's like fun land is now just like Stampy's drowned village. I don't know. <laughs> like they're just everywhere. They're absolutely all over the place. And oh, thanks, guys. I don't know why you got a lump of grass in there. Oh, I'm so sorry for stealing your bed. Very fancy monocle, by the way. That looks like a mod. That isn't like an actual villager. I'm not used to all of the uh, the new stuff. Like, we were building the other day near, um... There's a, there's a game. I don't know how many of you saw it, because there's, like, a more recent one. And I feel like the older the game is, the more people know it. But uh, it's one where, like, you use the frost boots, and you're, like, kind of running, and you're trying to trap people in boats. And it's just a big open bit of, like, just one block deep water. And because it's one block deep... All of the uh, the pillagers, uh, not sorry, the uh, the drown just spawn all over it, and then they just go after you, and it's like it's crazy. Anyone know what that game's called? Have I said enough to uh, to explain? Uh, just put it on peaceful mode. I don't know. I don't. I don't really like playing on peaceful mode. Like, cause normally, like playing on easy mode, which is what I normally play on, is just fine. I just feel like uh, now on bedrock, it's just like it's just it's mainly the drowned. It's just like any time you're doing anything in water, they're just always there, and they're not that strong. But they're just like a pest. I know. Alex is a uh, Alex is settling back down again. <laughs> oh, so cute. Right, you can probably see there's the outpost. So I think I'm going to like... So I assume that's the village... Okay, then let me get a little bit of help here from you guys. So, what, what are some tips for this? So I don't want to spend age. I don't want to get any more gear. I don't want to spend ages preparing and building anything. But general strategies, what should I do going up against a, uh, a pillager outpost? What's the, uh, what's the plan? Like, do I, do I, like... Attack the guy with the banner and then just sprint straight back to that village. Uh, use the shield a lot. Keep your distance. Long distance, high ground. Oh, iron golems. Take it slow, says Fun Nugget. Use your shield. Someone says charge in. Someone else said scream. <laughs> Be sneaky. Run and use shield. Okay. Do not die. Don't die. Oh, God. Just from the messages you're all saying, I can already tell just how tricky this thing's gonna be. Yikes. I'm not very good at being, like, smart and tactical in combat in Minecraft. Watch out for the big googlies. Stampy, don't do it. <laughs> I gotta do it. I gotta commit. We've come this close. 
Stay safe. So it seems like staying safe and playing slow is the way to go. So that will be the uh, that will be the plan. Don't kill the banner guy. Oh, I, I need to. I meant to have milk as well. Oh, I should have grabbed some milk. Oh, see, see what I mean about the drowned? Just, just, just die. Just burn and die, please, drowned. You're useless. You go away. Go away. Stop knocking on my shield. Go away. You, what are you doing? I'm not even holding the controller. I'm not even holding the controller and I beat you. Get out, get out of my game. Get out of Minecraft round. I don't want you here. <laughs> Useless. Is that about as easy as it is? Is that about how easy it is, yeah? As easy as that fight against the drowned. I assume it is that village that they're going to head to. I don't know if there's like another villager on the the village on the other side of this tower. Oh, I see so. Oh, there's someone there. Oh, they're off. Oh, they've got their little crossbows. Oh, I hate the little crossbows. He needs some milk. I really should have got milk, eh? I haven't got any uh, any more iron on me. I'm pretty I'm pretty committed just to go in just to do it now. Right, I can't see any more villagers over that way. Oh, a little bit fell down a hole here. Right, where's the banner guy? Hey, oh, this is good. I think I'm going to use the uh, the bow rather than the uh, the crossbow. Unless you all tell me off. Just because the crossbow is quite slow. Oh, here's the banner guy. I see. Did... Well, at least I got some arrows. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're off. I got a little thing on my screen. We're going. Right, let's look it back to the village, right? Run away! Is this the right way? Am I going in the right direction? Where was the village? <laughs> I think it was this way, right? Oh, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, please. Don't go to the village? What should I do? Do I just fight them? Or am I going the wrong way? Well, what do I do? Do I, do I go to the village? Don't go to the village. I don't go to the village. Do I, do I just fight them? Shoot, go on. You coward. <laughs> if you want to start the raid, go to the village. Okay, yeah, that's what, that's what we're doing. Can you... Why can they reload so fast? I can never reload mine that fast. Is it this way? Every... Half the people are saying go to the village. Half are saying don't go to the village. So I don't really know what to what to believe here. Is it this way? I don't see my bed. Are you sure it wasn't the way I was going, right? Okay, so go to the village to start the raid. <laughs> I'm so confused. The other way? How many other ways are there? <laughs> oh my god. I'm, 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 I'm Stampy Long those, right? Yeah. Like, I am... And like, this isn't me being being headed, but this is kind of the truth. But like, part of my identity is playing Minecraft, okay? Like, you got to get that, like, such a big part of my life is, like, playing Minecraft, okay? Like, I am strongly associated with Minecraft. And I am awful at Minecraft. I'm so bad. I'm so awful at Minecraft. <laughs> it is hilarious. Where? <laughs> Which way? Tell you what, I guess I can just look. 
for the coordinates for my house. So yeah, it, sh it should be this way, right? So when everyone, the things with everyone in the chat is like, because of the delay, I'll be going somewhere and people will say like wrong way or other way. And that just like won't mean anything to me because I have no idea like at which point you were like talking about. Like are you talking about now or like earlier, like it's like confusing. So it's not that like I'm not following your directions. It's just like, unless it's like completely written out, I just don't know about like what you're trying to say. So I know that the uh, the coordinates for my house are a thousand a hundred. Oh, there's the bed. It was just hidden. Okay. So I know that as long as I went this way, I was going towards my house anyway. Hopefully, I don't know if this is true. Hopefully, if I fail the raid, I'll be able to do it again. And then maybe uh, come in with a bucket of milk and be uh, a bit more prepared for it. So we've got cows and everything. I just don't have any iron to make a, a bucket. I mean, there's a chance I could maybe quickly steal a bucket from the, the village. You know, I could kind of like, maybe if I loop around the outskirt of the, the village, I could very quickly get a, a a bucket from home or make a bucket and then come in with the, the milk if that's going to make a big difference. And I'm not going the wrong way now. The village is right there and my house is just around the corner. I, I know where I am now. It was just in that like deserty area where like it literally all looked exactly the same. I got a, a tad confused, you could say. So that's the village and then my house is just beyond that. Uh, oh, milk will stop the raid? Oh, I thought it was just like some status element they were going to do on me. Why was... why did... what, drinking milk stops the raid? Really? Wait, so... so everyone's like, everyone's like, right, we're gonna raid and like, attack the village. And then if I drink milk, they're just like, wait a minute. That cat drank some milk. I'm out. I'm out of here. It really? Is that the way it works? No way is that like a... F That's a thing in Minecraft. Drinking milk. Is it like what? Do, are they like... Is it intimidating to them? Am I there like with my milk just like... <gasps> gotta get you next. Like why? Or are they just like... Oh no. He's just about to have a nap. He's... It's just a little cat drinking his milk. We won't hurt them. <laughs> oh, it's because it moves the status effect. And the raid is considered a status effect. That is the weirdest mechanic in the world. To stop like a bunch of enemies attacking you. You just drink a bit of milk and they just go like, okay, forget it. We'll go home. <laughs> that is hilarious. Do people find that funny or is that just me? Like, is that considered normal? Like, I understand the logic to it now. But it's like, it's so funny. Right, we're in the village. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, there's like a, a health bar. Oh, that's a big pit. Oh, we're doing this. Oh, we're doing this. Right, let's try and get up to some high ground. Oh, there goes the horn. Oh, we're doing this. I'm, I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I don't want to fail this. I really don't want to fail this. Where are they? Have you seen them, chicken? Here's my scout chicken. Where are they? Where are they? They're coming from this way. Apparently they're coming from this way. Thank you, scout chicken. You've done well. Let me make Let me make a bit of cover. Let me make a few like little little wall. Look, here's my look. I'll poke over this. I'll poke over this wall like this. I'm scared they are. Here's, here's the line of defense. This is me, the line of defense. Go to the higher ground. Ring the bell. I think I think I, I think I, I don't think there is. I think I stole the bell. <laughs> I think I think I stole their bell. They 
Right, let's go up to the uh, the high. I have got a fair few arrows now, and I think a lot of them are going to drop arrows as well. Uh. So. What's meant to What's meant to be happening? Ring the bell. I don't, I don't, I, is there a bell? I think I think I stole the bell. I don't I don't think there is a bell unless there's like several bells. Cause I, I got a I got a bell outside my house and I'm pretty sure I stole one of their bells. I mean, they keep ringing their little horn. They're just not showing up. Like, aren't they meant to attack the village? Behind you? Where are they all? <laughs> Some googlies down there. In the cave? Oh, there's one. There's one down there. See, I thought they would be attacking and we'd be, like, defending the village. I didn't realise, like, it was just me having to, like, find and, like, hunt them down. Hello. 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 Goodbye. Right, we've begun, I guess. One down. See, I th see this is kind of what happened, li like, last time I tried doing one of these things. I remember I was like in the, I was doing it and it was like, hunt them all down. And then I was kind of just, um, I just couldn't find them. I was just like, I just got a bit bored, like just trying to hunt down and find them all. Follow the, the sound of the horn, right? I think it sounds like it's coming from over here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Right, two two remaining. Need some grabbing their arrows here. For like these like like easy like waves. I'm just gonna focus on trying to gathering up like gather up a bunch of uh of stuff. Are there any more like round this way? This seems to be like where they're coming from. Which is weird because this is completely not the direction their outpost was in. Maybe over that way? I've not got headphones in, so it's kind of hard to, like, hear where the bell's, like, ringing from. You are doing an amazing job. Well, it's been quite easy so far. To be fair, it's not been the biggest challenge. All right, they're definitely back around there somewhere. I just feel like they're just too slow and like spread out and like hidden. I kind of wish it was like an army like attacking the village and you got to defend it rather than like... I don't know, it's just a bit slow paced, isn't it? Like I'm sure it'll get like, maybe the intensity will go up with like later ones, but... Like this is like, literally just like... I don't know, just like find the, the hidden pillager <laughs> kind of thing. Right, I think it's up over here somewhere.
Over here? I was down, down there? I mean, you're, you're no threat to the village. What are you doing down here? Hey? What you doing down here? Hello? Was it just trying to get to the village, just like walking into the cliff? Hi, buddy. Oh. Right, one, one left. This is definitely was about now, last time I was doing one of these, where I just quit out. I was like, nah, this is too slow. Alright. Wait for the next hole, I'm missing out. The raids are broken, says Andrew. Ooh. <laughs> this one sounded close. Also sound like they weren't very good at blowing the horn. God, they sounded like, like right forward this way somewhere. But like really close by. Was it further this way? Like, I'm scared it's like... I'm scared it's like fallen into a cave somewhere and it's just stuck down there and I'm gonna be like waiting to find it. It sounded like I was like right on top of it. Oh yeah, it's full in a cave and got stuck. All right, there we go. It's amazing how it blew that horn while dying. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it. First, first level done. God, that was slow. Hopefully, this uh, this next one's gonna be a bit more exciting than the the first one. Okay, looks like they're continuing to come from this side. Just judging by the the horn. See if they're like round the back this way again. Are there any over in the distance? Can't see any. Oh, hello. Did you spawn him right here? The shield really was a, a great idea, by the way. That was a, a big help. I'm gonna keep checking down that cave now. Oh, hello! Now they're actually in the village. Oh, he's got an axe. <laughs> he's got an axe. Goodbye. Look at this snipe. Ready? From downtown! <laughs> he just suddenly gets his axe out. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Good try. Good effort. Alright, any more around the village? There's only one left on this wave as well. Very, very short waves. God, I bet they're going to keep... It's actually going to be good. For now, it's annoying when they fall in the caves. But it's going to be... Uh, it's going to probably be handy for later on. They're all getting stuck down there. Oh, he's up there. Look. He's hanging out by the well. Ooh, don't get any of the villagers. Like, does it fail you if they get all of the, the villagers? So, I mean, I have no, like, real personal attachment to these villagers. I mean, there's, there's plenty of villagers, like, near me. Right, done. Next wave down. God, I'm gonna run out of food at this rate. I'm not getting through it. Maybe I'll just have the, uh, the bread for now. I do have the golden apple as well, in case I need it. Okay, looks like that way again is where they're starting off coming from. Let's go check the, uh, the usual places. What's my armor hold? I'm doing okay for armor. Unless this goes on for too much longer, I should be alright. Are anyone hiding behind here? No. Like, last time I came around here, then when I went back, they had all spawned in. 
Yeah, I, I think they just don't spawn when you're like too close to them. So you kind of need to like run away and run back and they all spawn in. Where are they all? Over that way somewhere? Maybe we should go up to the top of the, the hill see if we can find them. Uh, how do I make my thumbnails? Uh, my thumbnails are always super easy. I just take a screenshot of the game. So, for, for the one for like here, I just signed in a Squashies account on her Xbox. And then just went and posed into a, a little picture. Right, they're definitely up around here somewhere. Either up here or down, down on the other side of the cliff. Oh no, I can hear stuff. Oh, oh, it's one of the big things. What are those things called? These giant things. They're so ridiculous. What are the, what are those, what are the giant things called? Oh dear. That looks so weird. They took a lot of arrows, actually, to, to take out. They could drop, like, a saddle and maybe something else. Right, there's only two remaining. I think they're down here, so let's push on down to grab this loot anyway. I don't really want to be fighting them while in the water, so let's go around the other side. Why is it not letting me block them? There we go. Oh. Oh, I've got an, an emerald thing popped up. What's that? What's the, uh, what's the emerald thing that popped up? Oh, uh, oh, a ravenger. I killed a ravenger. I did it? Wait, that was the raid? That was the whole thing? That is what the raid was. <laughs> that was the whole thing. All it was was me like... Like running around and like trying to hunt down like... Like one or two... Like of the pillagers at a time. That was the easiest thing. That was... That was so boring. <laughs> It was like, it wasn't like, like I thought it was going to be an intense thing where they're like attacking the villagers and there's like a wave of them coming in and it's like, quick, can I do it in time? All it was was like an inconvenience to find where they are to try and get them. It was literally just a game of hide and seek. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I can't believe it. They got, they got to completely redo that. That was like... <laughs> that I can't have, I'm like genuinely shocked that that was like the way it ends. Like it's it's way harder to just walk across the ground. Like in the so say say it's nighttime in Minecraft, yeah. Me just walking here at night is like ten times more difficult than that raid was. And like I know I was on easy mode, but it like. That's like mainly just affecting things like the the damage like that you take and give and stuff. And it wasn't even like that, oh they're not strong enough. It was just like there wasn't enough of them and it just was like it was just all a bit just a bit confusing and a bit slow and it's <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I know I, I should have bought I think that uh, that emerald thing gave me like better better prices. It's harder on uh, on different modes. The thing is, I think even if there was more of them, but it was the same thing, I just still don't think it would be that, like, exciting. Like, I thought it was going to be one of them running with, like, the banner, and then, like, a wave of them moving in together. I guess it's just a reality of the way that, like, because all of the, the villagers and all of these worlds are all randomly generated, I, I guess they could, they probably... If they all just came as a group, maybe they wouldn't be able to reach it. I think I think it's the way they, like... The way they spawn in. They need to wait for you to move away and then they spawn in. So they're always kind of a little bit far away from you and you're trying to hunt them down. <laughs> I did it though. I did the uh, I did the, the raid. You know what? I got a bunch of emeralds from it. I probably should have traded with them 
Uh, actually, I only got 10 emeralds. It's not even, like, that amazing. I probably should have traded with uh, with the guys straight after if that thing was going to give me uh, give me better stuff. But I, I thought there was going to be, like, way more uh, waves than that. Maybe, as I said, because I'm playing on uh, on easy mode. Is this easy mode? Maybe it made it... Uh, like a little bit, uh, a little bit too easy for for me. <laughs> oh wow! All right then. Um, well, what I kind of want to do now. So there's kind of there's kind of two parts, uh, to these um. Uh, to this series, the one part is that I'm trying to relearn all of this new stuff, but I also just wanted to build like a pretty awesome house. So uh, I kept saying I want to build like a mansion on a hill. Uh, I don't really know like where. Maybe like this hill up here. Maybe I could just... Should I just go start building a mansion on it? Start doing the, the first sets. I think I'm going to, like, switch between... Like, trying to learn new mechanics and, like, playing around with that stuff. And then just doing some uh, good old-fashioned straight-up building. Uh, so, tell me, let's throw... If I put stone in here, is that going to sort it out? No, that needs to be in a furnace still by the looks of it. So let's get that going in there so I can get some uh, some stone bricks going. And let's kind of like level out an area and get in some like foundations for uh, for my mansion on a hill. I think that's fair enough for me to get a, a mansion in a, in a, on a hill, right? Oh my god, the birch trees from last time. Oh yeah, I made a... <laughs> I, can't, I was joking about like the best way to go and troll someone's... Uh... Oh, I haven't got an axe to me. But the best way to troll someone's uh, world is just go around and like just strip one block... From all of the uh, the trees, <laughs> I just really like, really messed them up. Oh, that'd be funny. So what about that hill there? Well, should I build like um? So I I need like stairs going up to. I feel like that hill might be a bit too big. Maybe maybe this hill. Maybe this hill is going to be a bit more manageable. So let me try and like flatten off this top layer level, and then maybe like draw out some foundation. So it's going to be a mansion. I'll oh, go away, drowned. Don't, don't want to deal with you. Yeah, it won't be, like, the biggest mansion in the world. Because, always that's going to take, like, way too long. But I, I want a mansion on a hill. I never really build, like, fancy things in Minecraft. I want to I want to build something fancy. Oh, no. This, this this hill is already occupied. <laughs> oh, am I gonna be like I'm gonna be like the evil Baron? I'm gonna be like the uh, the villain in Disney movies and be like, we're gonna flatten all of this land. We're gonna have to destroy the puppy orphanage so I can make room for my giant mansion. <laughs> this land will be mine, and I will make lots of money from it. And who cares who was here before me? As I drink my chocolate milk. The top of my mansion. That's gonna be me. I'm joking. That's actually. What... I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll leave that house there, and they'll they'll be my lovely neighbours. Yeah, and I'll protect them from any of the pillagers that try and attack them. I'm like the Monopoly man with like my <laughs> my little monocle. Here's a fun fact. You know the uh, the Monopoly guy, Mr. Monopoly, Mr. Moneybags, whatever he's called. Did you know? That he doesn't have a monocle. So a monocle, if you don't know, it's like kind of like half a glasses. You know, the little bit of like glasses that you have on one side. You know, he doesn't actually have... Everyone always thinks he's got a monocle. You look him up. He doesn't actually have a monocle. Fun fact. I also really need to track down a, uh, a bamboo forest. Because I want to see pandas. I, I want bamboo as well because I want to play around with scaffolding. So I've never like tried... Uh, crafting scaffolding yet. But the biomes are so big now that, like, I don't know how difficult it is going to be to, to track them down. God, my little golden apple. I didn't need that, did I, during that raid? <laughs> I don't think I ever lost more than, like, two hearts. And I know I'm on easy mode, but I think it's kind of like, if you compare other things in Minecraft on easy mode, like, just fighting up against a few skeletons could be more difficult and like forget like the wither or the ender dragon or anything i think like if you keep everything in line of like how difficult easy mode is across everything i was expecting especially i think maybe it was built up a bit much because when i mentioned about doing a raid everyone was like no you're not ready don't do it yet no you need to prepare 
And so I think maybe in my head I had it as this big old thing. And then I just killed like like ten pillagers and it just ended. So I think that was a that was a thing. Blow up their house with TNT, says Tabby. I will not! I will not play the evil villain here. Imagine your childhood hero having to relearn Minecraft. I know. I feel like such a sham. I feel like when I run into people, like, who haven't seen me in a while, like, oh, you must be like a Minecraft expert. I'm like, I kind of, like, I, I mean, I was never an expert at Minecraft. Like, I, I liked the way I played the game, and I enjoyed doing what I enjoyed doing. But I was never, I never, like, I never specialised. So there's, like, some people who were like, I am... The Redstone King, and I know everything about Redstone, and I'm gonna build a working computer in Minecraft. You know, like, there's those people. And then there's some people who are like, I am the builder, and I'm gonna build everything amazing. I'm gonna build a castle in the sky, and it's gonna blow your hat off, and you're gonna love it, all right? You know the Mona Lisa? Yeah, I rebuilt it in Minecraft, but better than the original. You know, there's people like that. Then there's people that were like, I am a pro Minecraft player. I can I can defeat the Ender Dragon like that. Oh, have you woken up? Have you had your breakfast? Oh, and that time I beat the, beat the Ender Dragon three times. Yeah, the Wither, poof, nothing. Like there's all of those people, and I always kind of like squatted in between them, and I was like, yeah, I, I know a bit about redstone, not as much as you, but I know a bit. And yeah, I can build okay, and like I built I built some things that are all right, but they're not great. And like I'm okay at combat. I'm not very good though, and I, I always forget how to brew the potions, and I always forget crafting recipes. I was always like a little bit dipping my toe into all of these different ponds, and never really, um, never really specialising. Like with everything, and even like the storytelling. There's some people that are like, oh, I'm gonna do role plays, and I'm gonna tell stories in Minecraft. And I was like, yeah, I do a bit of that, but like kind of not really, and kind of a little bit. But you know, I always uh, kind of just did what I wanted to do in my my own style, I guess. And then, and now I'm nothing. <laughs> uh, and now I'm not even like average at this stuff. I'm like worse than average at this stuff. You don't need to be an expert at Minecraft to enjoy the game. Exactly. And I do think there is some people that do go in with that mentality. And like even when I was like in my Minecraft peak, I guess, like even in those times, there was like stuff that's like I just didn't know about or would forget about and I'd constantly be like, oh, what level of diamonds in again? And Oh yeah, like how do you craft like an enchantment table? It's like a book and something, you know, I'd always just forget this stuff just because like, I don't know, I think I've just got a bit of a bad memory for stuff I'm not actively doing. And if it's just something that I don't care about or do regularly, I'm just like, nah, nah I'm not interested. Holy cow, Stumpy's back. <laughs> Hello. I guess I'm back. Uh, I didn't know about the uh, the Never update coming out on Tuesday. That's exciting, though. Does anyone know whether, like... So this world was created, obviously, before the Never update. But I've never been to the Never. So if I go to the Never, will I get all of the um the new features? Does anyone know what the uh, the verdict on that stuff is? Because that would be cool if I do. Uh, I'll get it. I will. That's cool. I wonder if I'll get it in my lovely world. Is the question. So I know on the console edition, whenever they added something to the Nether, or just whenever you wanted, you could reset the Nether. Which would basically wipe anything you've built in there, which in my lovely world is nothing, and you could get all of the new features. I wonder if I'll be able to get all of the, the new Never stuff in my lovely world, because that would be cool. I suppose now my Never would be infinite. Maybe I wouldn't get the new stuff, like, right on the other end of my portal, like places I've been before. But if I go to, like, new areas, I'll get the new stuff, I guess. Kind of like how my lovely world is now. Where, like, all of the new areas that I hadn't been to before, I'm getting, you know, all of the new stuff in. 
but then obviously around like my hat like house and town and stuff and fun land that's all kind of the way it was before that's exciting i kind of need to to get up to speed of all of the stuff i've missed already before i get onto the uh all of that new stuff all uh, right let me uh let me throw some stone in here i want to start making some uh I don't know, like some stone bricks and stuff. To build my mansion out of. Yeah, I got a mansion. It's no big deal. I just tell people I got a mansion. I just, I just won't mention that it's a, a mansion in Minecraft. <laughs> God, I'm going to need to get some more cobblestone. Something I didn't think I was going to be uh, gonna be running out of. Uh, I did have some smelting at home, so I can go and grab that. And then I, I need to work out what's going to be a... um. Ooh, I could do like a water lift, couldn't I? That could be good. Because that hill was probably a bit too... Maybe, is it a bit too tall to have staircases? Or maybe I could do a, a staircase going up to it. You need nicer blocks for the, the build. I do have a few other types of stone and stuff, but... Um, yeah, I need to get like some glass and that. Like, we've got to start somewhere. Like, I think I'll, like, I'll build it, like, bit basic, and I'll just keep adding to it and improving it as we go. Like, the good things with live streams is I can kind of, like, take my time with it a little bit. No, don't blow up, don't blow up, don't do up. Okay, at least, at least it didn't blow up the house. Blow up next to the house, at least it didn't blow up the house. All right, dude, let's, uh, let's go back inside for some, uh... A bit of a, a bit of a, of a break. Uh, I actually want to say thank you to a few more donations that came through during the, the raid. Oh, I just saw some people asking for a Corgi cam update. So there's uh, Alex sleeping away in the, the background. Uh, thank you to, to Jens. He says, I love you so much. As well as uh, Tristan Downs. Welcome back to the stream. I remember you were from before. Uh, Sage says, I prefer survival over creative. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're very different. Um, so I think you can just enjoy both for like different things. I think as well to uh, Josorio, uh, as well as uh, Vines No No, who says, Don't get your beard caught in the letter box. A joke from the Overwatch stream, some of you may, uh, some of you may get. <laughs> Thank you so much to Amy Music, uh, as well as uh, Sebastian, who says, uh, Do you know Grian or SB? Uh, I know of SB, never met him, uh, but I know Grian. Uh, I've hung out with, uh, with him before. Uh, he's really nice. Uh, Rocky says, Raids can have witches and more Ravengers, so I got lucky. Maybe because I was on easy mode, I had less uh, of the other types of, uh, of mobs attacking. Thank you so much to, uh, to Pitta, as well as the me man, who says, uh, they look tough, but those pillagers are terrified of dairy products. <laughs> that was my joke earlier about how if you eat milk, it ends the, uh, the raid. <laughs> Thank you so much to, uh, to Max Games, who says, I was their childhood. Uh, as well as uh, Patrick Starr, who says, uh, Hey, childhood creator, I just wanted uh, to know when you're going to make a lovely world, lovely world video. So I spoke about it a little bit earlier on, so I don't want to repeat myself too much, but Lovely World is coming back. Some have already been recorded. Uh, thank you as well to, uh, to It's Tom for the donation, who says, uh, Say happy birthday to, to Ben. Hello, Ben. Uh, there was another Ben whose birthday it was. Is that like two Bens? Because that's, uh, that's a different person. Uh, cool Game says, uh, Will your helpers be back in your lovely world? Uh, they will. Uh, Michael says, uh, when you go uh, in to block the door, they spawn outside and then they uh, grab the chest. Oh, is that for the uh, the raid? Yeah, I didn't really see much of that. I just kind of killed them as they uh, as they all popped up. Uh, Sandy Davis says, you should do Lovely World where you make a dog duplicator. And then you end up going like from the perspective of a dog. That could be cool. I could like, like I've done cloning. Maybe I could go inside the mind of Barnaby and run around as Barnaby. <laughs> that would be fun. Thank you as well to, uh, to Nicholas Lear, who says uh, a fletching table is the best way to get emeralds. Uh, thank you as well to, uh, to Regular, uh, as uh, Elizabeth Gumfer uh, as well. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Thrust Dragon and uh, Yuki Accordions, who uh, ask if I'm going to defeat the Ender Dragon in this world. Uh, maybe. I might. We'll see, uh, we'll see how geared up and uh, if I run into a stronghold or so. I think, I think if I run into a stronghold, I definitely would. But for now, I think I'll say... Uh, Maybe. It will be a, a firm, definite maybe. <laughs> uh, Logando says, uh, what happened to the Stampy Shorts? And uh, says that he loves the, the streams. Uh, Stampy Shorts will probably come back. Uh, I don't know when I'll do another one, but I'm sure I will do more of them in the future. There's always kind of big gaps uh, between them. So, yeah, there's no kind of definite schedule for, for when they uh, they pop up. I think it's right to a typical Brandon, 
as well as a uh, flood rbx uh he says i hope you get 10 million subscribers i think it's well to uh, noah who says enchanted gear makes it much more powerful if you do it right uh higher levels of protection and other enchantments will make you a lot stronger uh yeah i probably should do that soon uh, i need to get a bunch of books and stuff to to get the uh the enchantment table all all powered up i uh, think it's well to uh, to lucas lippy who says a uh, high stamps love your vids uh, as well as Jens, who says, thank you so much for making my childhood awesome. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Margaret Rose and uh, Mackie Packy. And uh, the trailers of the movie says, can you make a sequel to Cat to the, the Future? I guess like every episode since then has kind of been uh, a sequel to, to Cat to the, the Future. Uh, thank, thank you uh, as well to, uh, to Samurai. Thank you all so much for the other uh, donation. So I'm going to have a very, very short break now. Literally like just a, a few minutes. I'm just going to stand up, stretch my legs, maybe go to the, the toilet. Uh, if you've been sitting down and uh, watching the stream for a long time uh, as well, make sure you just stand up and uh, shake out your legs. Alex is doing the same as well. Yeah, just do what Alex did. Stand up, have a stretch, have a shake, and then we can uh, <laughs> settle back down again and uh, carry on uh, where we left off. We're kind of waiting for all of the, uh, the stone to smell anyway. So yeah, I'll be back in like just about three, four, five minutes uh, or so. So yeah, I'll see you all then if you return. Thank you all for your patience. We will continue where we left off. And I should have a bit of a, an idea. Um, because of like how tall the mountain is. Wait a second, any creepers? Any creepers? I think we're clear. Yeah, because of how tall the mountain is. And I was trying, oh, there's a creeper, there is a creeper, there is a creeper, there is a creeper, okay. Oh no, I'm stuck. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. I don't want all holes everywhere. Thank you. Tell, let me try throwing the trident at him. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. God, the trident kind of done that much damage if like a full pack arrow didn't finish them off afterwards. That is cool though. I got, I got, I got to, I got to do a game with, uh, with tridents in my, in my lovely world, right? So I kind of had an idea to do like, you see that, uh, the island I'm going to build on. If I do like a tower from like here up there, and then a bridge from the tower. I'm just, I'm just trying to be super fancy here. And so it'll be like a spiral staircase leading up. And then like a um, a big like kind of like drawbridge type thing leading across. And then that'll be the the way to get to the front of it. Rather than like zigzagging like up it and stuff. I think that just, I don't know. 
I'm just trying to do something different. I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to think of like stuff in a style and in a way that I've never built before in Minecraft. And like, I've built a lot of stuff in Minecraft over the years, so it's not like super like obvious to to like find things that um that I haven't done anything like before. So I'm gonna build it out of something. Uh, I might as well do it out of wood because then you can like uh gather it up super quickly and make loads of uh, planks out of it. So I'm gonna do birch wood. Uh, I would do oak or something. The problem with oak wood, I hate it, is when like the trees grow absolutely in massive. At least with the the birch wood ones, every time I plant them, I know they're not gonna grow too too tall, so I can just go and do it that way. Owen Soup says, "Woo, gonna learn how to play Minecraft." Uh, thank you, uh, Blue Diamond Gaming, for the donation, as well as Mary Woods, who's become a member. Uh, Arrow says, "Glad I can make it. What have I missed?" Um, uh, I did a raid. Is the the big thing? I, I went mining. I got a bunch of diamonds. I got a diamond helmet and boots, and I did a raid. Uh, hello, Catherine says, uh, "Sorry I'm late. I hope you and Squishy and everyone else in the chat is having an amazing day." Uh, thank you so much, Catherine. Welcome to the the stream. Uh, thank you as well to uh, a bunch of people who have become members. Uh, Effie, uh, Xbox player, and Blinida or Blinida. Thank you so much for for becoming members. If you don't know what memberships are, by the way, guys, I do see questions and why people asking why do people have blue text and an egg. Basically, all it is is a way to support the channel. Like you don't really get anything from it. It's just if you want to say uh, thank you for the the streams and the the videos and uh, allow me to to kind of keep doing these uh, these streams and stuff and uh, and videos. Then basically you can do a, a small donation once a month. Uh, I won't say how much it is because it's different in every country. But I guess in England it's four ninety nine a month. Uh, and then for that, uh, you get a little egg next to your name, which will eventually hatch. <laughs> and some people have started hatching already. Uh, so basically every month that kind of gradually changes. And then there's just a bunch of emojis uh, as well you can do. There's a bunch of like stampy emojis and stuff uh, as well you can use in the the chat. You can see some people uh some people using them uh, as well. So I don't I don't actually know how much it is in America. I don't know if, if it's four ninety nine dollars or how it uh, how it changes. Uh, but yeah, that's all it is. But like the, you don't get any extra videos. There's no exclusive uh, member streams or like exclusive member chat only or anything. Because uh, I want to make it so like people that um, can't or just don't want to pay, like they don't miss out on anything. So it's literally just if like, almost like a, another way of donating essentially. And then it just also allows me to add a bunch of like funny emojis as well, which you can't like because you can't you can't add the emoji without that. And the amount of emoji you can add depends on how many members you have. So I think I can now have up to fifteen. So I think there's like two more. Oh, so it is four ninety nine in America as well. Okay, so it doesn't convert it at all. Good to know. Oh, well, we could do over there. Well, let's have a big bridge then. Let's do let's tell, let's do the tower coming up here, and then we do a, a giant bridge. So look, let's kind of mark this out a little bit on the the ground, and work out how this is uh, how this is going to be. So the bridge, I kind of want the middle of it to be going along there. So that's kind of where I want the center of the the tower to be. So let's kind of mark out just a square for where this tower will be. So let's have a, let's kind of count like seven either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, if I do this as a as a box, then this would be like kind of where you're doing the stairs going around the the outside. And I know my mic isn't muted, guys. Like there's people responding in the chat to what I'm saying. I know my mic. <laughs> oh, right. The amount of people that do pranks and they just do the same prank and just like, I what I never know is like, everyone always tries to prank me saying my mic's muted. Is that just a prank that people try and do with every streamer? Or is it just me everyone tries to prank just because they think that like, I'm very, very gullible or, or something. Like I can see the little waveform with it, with it showing up. <laughs> uh... Right, let's go and do uh, this along here. So it will be, uh, it needs to go like 15 blocks along, I guess. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we need to go the same in this direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then this will match up. So this is just going to kind of mark. So these blocks might not even end up being here. This is just going to mark like the box for... The, uh, the staircase leading up to the, the tower. Uh, so let's go make myself a, a bunch of birchwood steps. 
how long is your head? You can see this long. Uh, actually, it's actually looking a bit dark in here. It's like super sunny outside. Let me turn the uh, the light up though. There you go, instant instant sunlight. You can tell this is stampy cat content because of the amount of crafting tables I've made already. Alright, so let's make a whole load of planks. Then a whole load of steps because we're going to need a lot of these. So let's say this will be some sort of outer barrier. So let's say the steps start here. And uh, let's just go two blocks wide. Because otherwise this is going to have to like, you're going to have to go around so many times until you get up to the, the top. And then, as soon as I don't have any scaffolding or anything, for now, uh, actually, I can just use more birch wood for, like, the underneath, actually. That would be fine. Is this making any sense? I don't know. I, I, I kind of have in my head what this is going to be. I don't know whether it makes any sense to you, but I guess you'll, you'll see as we, uh, as we go. It's actually quite good. It's actually quite rare for me, uh, especially in videos or anything, to build anything in Minecraft that I haven't pre-planned. Even, like, a lot of the stuff in, like, the space dens and stuff. Like, even if I haven't planned all the dimensions out and stuff, we often go into the episode kind of knowing roughly what we're going to build. So this is kind of like a... a rare glimpse of the, uh... <laughs> Stampy's building and, uh, and designing process, uh, I guess. Because I'm so slow at it, like... Like, I, I do a, a minigame, and it'd be like a little mini game that I build in a couple episodes and we play once. But I'd have spent, like, like three or, t like, three, four, maybe even more days, like, planning and designing that mini game. I spend so long on it. And maybe I'm just slow, but I like to think of it as I, uh, um, as particular, or, um, not even a perfectionist, but just, like, I don't know. Uh, like, I, li I like playing around, because I think if you go straight in and be like, this is the idea, let's make the thing and you just do the thing, I feel like you're kind of, it's almost a missed opportunity, because there's probably, like, other, like, if you tried it out a few different times and played around with it for a little bit longer, there's probably, like, other things you would have discovered that would have made it look even better. So I feel like being too quick can sometimes actually be worse. I feel like I kind of made this original box, like, too big here. I feel like this, this bridge is going to be, like, this is going to be too tall. Maybe we won't go, like, round in a full loop. We just kind of go up to here. And then maybe go up this way. Yeah, because I, I think if I did a full way round like this, I'm going to be way higher than the mountain. Or maybe not. Are people, people telling me off for not saying birch in a high-pitched voice. Like, I always like having those little jokes, like saying birch high-pitched or saying spruce, like spruce. <laughs> but it's like, when I'm building out of spruce, like in an episode, and for 20 minutes I'm saying spruce like a hundred times a minute. It's like, after a while it's sort of like, okay, let me just, let me just say the word now. Hmm. So I feel like we're still slightly lower than there. Maybe I should start doing, like, the way the bridge will be on that side and build it out and then kind of link it up to this tower. And then we can work out the uh, the height a little bit more exactly. Thank you to, uh, to Sophia for the uh, donation. Says, uh, thank you, Squishy and Squid. Uh, thank you for you, Squishy and Squid, for being my idol since childhood. You are more than welcome. Thanks for, for watching the stream. Thank you as well to, uh, to JF, as well as uh, Tankman79, and Num for becoming a member. Uh, don't mind me, says, uh, Hey Stampy, uh, do you prefer playing Java or Bedrock? Um, it's weird, like, I like Bedrock in the fact that it's, like, it's less glitchy, and there's, like, way less bugs in Bedrock, and it just, like, runs better, even though it's, like, in Java. But, like, I much prefer playing with a, with a controller, and, like, 
Java doesn't really have very good controller support compared to Bedrock. So, like, I guess it would technically be Bedrock. Thank you to, uh, to Ethan. Cat is a big fan of Stampy for the donation. Uh, as well as Avery Hall says, uh, hello Avery, uh, says, uh, hey Stamps, update on the, uh, the play I'm doing. Tomorrow is our filming day. I'm so excited. Oh, awesome. So glad that, uh, the rehearsal went so well for you and you got the part. Right then, so this is this is where I want this bridge to end up with. But this is where I want it to, to line up. So what I could do is try and make it like slope down a little bit. So if I do it with like half slabs, I can do it so like it very gradually like goes and like staggers down. So let's say it's gonna be like three block wide. We go like this. And we have these half slabs here like this. And then the next half slabs will kind of be like, almost like floating on nothing underneath it, but like mixing on the edge. So is there an easy way for me to do that? Like, could I place it on the edge there? Or is it just going to be, no, it's just going to be in line with it. Hmm. This might be trickier than I thought. So if I could do these like under it like that, and then I need this to be like lower, like, I guess I might need to place a block there and then place these, like, along it. Yeah, I think that might be what I need to, to do to be able to do this. So you kind of see what the, the style will be. I just don't know, is there any way I can do this from, like, from while I'm above it? I guess if I did one like th that, but then if I put a half slab under it, it's just going to turn it into a block and not going to let me break away half, is it? Oh, this is like more more annoying. <laughs> this is more annoying than I thought it would be. What I think, what I could do then, is I'll I'll go I'll do it less staggered than I am doing it, because otherwise this is just going to take way too long. So look, if this is there like that, maybe I'll do the like I'll go out by like four. And then I'll let it drop down. So I'm, I'm trying to make it so it like kind of slopes down. So say, say if this is the bridge, these are the platforms. It'll kind of go like down like that. Yeah, it's just annoying because I've got to keep like going down and like placing it underneath. Like that. And then I'm making a whole mess. Is there any like easier way to do this that I'm not thinking of? Like I don't have any scaffolding yet because I haven't found a, a bamboo area. So I don't have like a, an easy way to like get back up and down. Thank you to, uh, to Ollie as well as TP. And uh, Pro Craftinators who says play Kingdom Hearts. It's your demographic. Never heard of it. What's it on? Uh, please say hello to Aiden and Chloe. Big fans. I can do. Hello, Aiden. Hello, Chloe. Thanks for watching. Guys, so far as well, I gotta go. <laughs> I think I might have made this, like, way too difficult for myself. Why didn't I just keep it simple? Uh, oh, use a bucket of water. Yeah, use water. That's a smart way to do it. Guy, you know what? I, w I wish I could take... Like, I think what I need to do is I need to live stream my entire life. Because you're all so helpful. <laughs> like, I wouldn't have thought of using water there. Maybe eventually I would have. Like, I need to be there, like, making, like, I don't know, trying to cook something. And I'd be like, oh, what do I add first? Like, you know, the flour or the sugar? And you need to be like, the flower, the flower. Like, it's so, it's so helpful having you all here. So, right, if I do that block there now, I can do this one. This one's easy. It's just the, the next one after this that gets a bit more difficult.
And that's when I want to use the uh, the bucket of water. Yeah, so I think going by fours and then if I use the, the water, uh, that's actually not going to be the, uh, the, the most... Uh, difficult uh, thing in the, the world. So right then, we have a bit of a plan then. I know I haven't really got much built on the, the house, but I've got this area flattened. I've decided where I want it to be, and I've started building the, the bridge across, and I made a bit of a tower, which totally isn't going to line up with this, so I'm going to have to redo that anyway. But I got a plan, and sometimes the coming up with the, the plan is uh, is more difficult than doing any of the uh, the actual building of the, the thing. The problem is, is I haven't got... um. I've got my wiki up and I haven't really planned to, to work out any other new things for me to discover, to play around with. So what I think I might do before the next stream is I might cheat. <laughs> so I really want to find a, um, I don't know, maybe I don't need to cheat. Maybe I'm going to look up how rare it is, but I really want to find out uh, where a bamboo forest is. So I want bamboo. I want to make scaffolding. I want to use it. I also just want to craft it and learn how to, to use it and what the recipe is and stuff. I also want to see pandas because I've not seen pandas yet. So I might have a look around. Then if I need to, I might cheat and fly around just to, to find it, just to speed things up. Uh, and then we will, uh, uh, yeah, try and discover out some more of the new things of the, the game. And then I'm going to go and, uh, and just carry on uh, building the, the rest of the, the mansion. Uh, but I'm actually going to win the stream here. It's getting quite late. It's like eight o'clock where I am and I haven't had any dinner or anything yet. Oh, everyone's telling me not to cheat. Don't cheat. Okay, I won't cheat. It just means it's just gonna, gonna take a long time looking around. To be fair, I have my uh, coordinates for where my house is. So at least if I do venture off into the, the great unknown, I will be able to, to find my way back here. And who knows, maybe I'll discover some more things that I didn't know were in the, the game. So maybe going on a, a long distance adventure would be a, a fun way to, to do it. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I haven't had my dinner yet and uh, it's been quite a long day. I've just been kind of chilling out, um, uh, but I just went around my parents because it's Father's Day and we kind of had like a bring your own picnic day in their garden and it's been hot and walking and stuff. So I'm a little bit tired out. So I think this might be a, a good place to, to end the, the stream here, uh, but we can kind of carry on where we are left off uh, when we uh, come back for the next stream. Uh, Tyler, what asking when the next stream is? I don't know. As, uh, as, as like as soon as I know when like I have some free time, uh, as much as I can, I try and schedule them in advance. So hopefully I'll let you know a little bit uh, beforehand uh, when the, the stream is, uh, is going to, to be. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure when it will be, but I'm sure at some point during the, the week uh, we'll carry on. And I think I'm going to mainly just focus on, um, like I'm still playing Animal Crossing, but I'm kind of just playing it myself. So I think I'm going to mainly focus on, on doing these streams. Just because there's a, what, there's a lot that I want to learn and do in these streams. And because I'm going to be moving house so soon, uh, I'm probably only going to be able to stream for the next few weeks until I have a bit of a break. So I kind of want to get through as much as I can in these streams. And they're good fun as well. Uh, they're really good fun. So um, uh, we can do that. Uh, oh, people telling me to leak the, uh, the seed. Uh, how do I show you the seed? Uh, I know you can't see the gameplay screen now. Let, let, I can just give you the seed for this world. It's no problem. Like, I don't think it's a particularly great world. <laughs> but if you want to play on the on the same world. Uh, let me just work out where I see it. Could not sync your data. Okay, jolly really good, right? Um, where do I, where do I get it up? Oh, here it is. Right. There you go. The seed is minus... Seven zero six five one eight eight. I repeat again. Minus seven zero six five one eight eight. And remember that number. It's seven zero six five one eighty eight. Is your seed to this world that I'm playing on? <laughs> so yeah, if you want to play in that world, maybe if you want to, uh, yeah, tell you what, feel free if you uh, if you want to. Um, Feel free to, to hunt down a bamboo forest <laughs> and let me know the coordinates. <laughs> if anyone if anyone's bored and wants to, to help me out in that way, I mean that would be super uh, appreciated. If you can just give me a give me a direction to, to head into would be uh, would be good. <laughs> Pardon? No, that they told the that would count as cheating, right? That's not that's gotta be cheating, right? 
It's yeah. Well, I said space is saying to do like slash locate and do it that way. So I said about flying around to find it, and everyone said no. So yeah, but that's like we're not like, we're not cheating the game. We're just it's a communal effort to track it down. That's just what it means. <laughs> anyway, that would basically be the end of the stream. I want to say thank you. A few more donations came through uh, right before uh, before the end. So thank you to uh, to UH453, who just says, thanks, Stampy. Thank you. I uh, think as well to uh, to Daphne. Uh, he says, uh, can you wish me a happy birthday, please? I can. Happy birthday, Daphne. Hope you have a, a good day. I uh, think as well to uh, to Gabe DL, uh, who's asking when I'll play again. As I said, I don't know. Probably at some point during the week. Uh, stay tuned, I guess. Just keep an eye on the, the channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you've got notifications on, it should pop up, uh, and you'll be able to see then. I think it's well to, to Sergio and, uh, and Miken! Uh, Mikio and Kenzo, hope they're, they're doing well. I don't know if you're all there watching the, the stream. And, uh, also, thank you to, uh, to Tech Tree uh, as well for, uh, for becoming a, a member. Uh, but as I said, that's going to be the end here. New stream coming up at some point during the, the week. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I will see you soon. Bye!